I'd like to um, welcome um, distinguished veterans here today, Camille Mungin and John Carpenter. Camille, a lifetime resident of Newmarket, also John Carpenter, owner proprietor of the ye old English greenhouse, uh, both uh, veterans from World War II, the, um, the Army, and the th uh, European theater of, of uh, the war. Um, Camille, born and raised in Newmarket, went to school in Newmarket, and guys, correct me if I'm a little bit off on my in introduction, sorry if I make any a little bit of a blunder there. Um, and he went to school in Newmarket, graduated from the high school, mm -mm. and no, went, went through hi to high school in Newmarket. No? Okay. Do you want me to go real quick and tell you? Well, actually, what I want to, uh, what I want to do, Camille, is uh, for you to start off, uh, let's roll the pages back in time. Tell us about your early um, childhood in here in Newmarket and, and leading up to when you went to school here in Newmarket through to when you uh, into came into the, the service. service. Yeah. And I was born on 1424. I'm 84 years old, born <laughs> on uh, Alum Drive in my grandmother's house, which is right next to the um, Washington Avenue. Mm -hmm. You know, you're familiar with that? Sure. Okay. I went through parochial school, was in this building, then I went to the high school for two years. And I turned 16 and I was a dropout. I went to work in one of the local shoe factories. So I only had two years of high school. Went into work in the shoe factories. Family had a lot of kids. Somebody had to go to work. Right. So I was one of them because I wasn't a very good scholar. <laughs> oh, that's right. yes. Okay, so my brother Jerry was, so naturally Jerry stayed and I went off. Then from there I went to work in, in a local shoe factory. And when I turned 19, I went to try to join the Navy and I couldn't get in. Then the draft board called me, tried to get in there and they rejected me. You know the big reject? Well, the second time they took me. So that's when I went in the service. Mm -hmm. That was... You want me to give you the dates on that? Uh, yeah, t uh, tell us um, what were you doing the year uh, year before the war broke out, for instance? Working in the shoe factory. Okay, yeah. And I worked in the shoe factory in the Roy Shoe, and then I was drafted, was drafted out of Portsmouth, and then from Portsmouth we went into Manchester. That was on March 10th of, of uh, 43. Mm -hmm. Then from there we went into... Fort Devens, and from Fort Devens, we stayed there about three or four days. Then we got on a big choo-choo train and we took a ride. God only knows where we were going. They wouldn't tell you where he was going until we got there. We landed in Camp Shelby, Mississippi for 10 weeks basic training. And from basic training, at the end of basic training, our outfit was the 965th Engineer Maintenance Company. And that was just a lot of equipment, uh, engineer equipment, bulldozers, cranes, rollers, uh, uh, big uh, steam shovel, they called them. In them days, they didn't have backhoes. There was no hydraulic system in this basic, big heavy equipment. All the thing was cables, brakes, and clutches. Hmm. So I went to school there for eight weeks, and my company moved out to the West Coast. From the West Coast, uh, I went there, and then from the West Coast, uh, we went to Yuma, Arizona, and we joined our platoon. We had four platoons in the outfit. Joined the platoon in Yuma, Arizona. That was in the Mojave Desert. Mm -hmm. From there, we went to Camp Young. Yeah. That was in the Mojave Desert. And all we were doing is training. A lot of stuff we already knew, but I don't know if they were stalling time for us or what the story was. But let me just go, regress a little bit. But all when right. you went into the service, did your parents want you, did they have any, did they not want you to go into the service? Because you already well, had a brother uh, no, in the, the service, the, right? No, the parents realized that we were going to be called at any time. Because mm -hmm. my brother Arthur was the first one to go in, then Jerry went in. And this is, uh, so everybody can, is this, is this Arthur right That's here? That's Arthur, and Jerry's up top. Jerry's right here. I'm over the other You're side. Here. And that's and Norman. Norman. Yeah. Two in the Navy. And two in the and Army. Two in the Army. Yeah. Four brothers all in theater at the same time. Yeah. 